she thinks nobody's going to come if they know. <laughs> and so, um, and, uh, so, but I can tell you that 35 women did come. And they came not to be entertained because they didn't know who the speakers were going to be or what we were going to be talking about. But they came to meet with the Lord. And they, they came to minister to others and to be ministered to. And um, one of the most encouraging things about the retreat was that. And then also that uh, all 35 that signed up actually came. And that is the first time that has ever happened. Usually we have three or four at the last minute that will back out for various reasons, but not this year. And I think God honored that, and I know he blessed us. And we have a few women that are going to give testimonies, and I'm going to ask Millie if she will start us off. Well, it was a huge blessing, and the biggest blessing was that we have an enormous amount of talent and skill, speaking skill, in our church. Who knew? The six speakers, the six speakers at the ladies' retreat were eloquent, and they were transparent. Their honesty blew us away. There is not a single lady that wasn't touched by every speaker and it didn't matter if they were speaking about God's work in their children or God's work in their marriage or God's work through grief and loneliness every speaker touched every person and usually we have a speaker and a theme and then we go off into little groups and we discuss all the stuff that they told us to discuss and that's how we get close we get close with our little bitty group but this time, we got close because the Holy Spirit was moving among us. They just talked about situations in their lives and exactly what God said to them through the Bible. They had their scriptures. They had their Bibles. We even had one person who had a handout of so, lest we forget and take bad notes or something like that. I loved it. They guided us to the truth just like God guided them. It wasn't like they received a message on last week and they were telling us what God told them in preparation for this message. No, it was a message that had taken them years of pain and tra to come to understanding of God's will for their lives and God's will for our lives because we learn from each other. We really connected. We are all women with the same desire. Our desire is to do God's will. And by hearing each other's hearts and how God had moved in their lives to do God's will, we had so much insight into what God wants us to do in our families, in our children, in our marriages, in our careers, in our church. We're not the same, and I'm betting that you're not going to be the same as a result of us going. One of the lessons that we learned, and Pat alluded to this, is that we don't need an expert. We don't need a professional. We just need ourselves and opening up. And I'm very thankful for the gifted women that he gave us not every 